Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of Watts Collection. Uh, today I'm going to have an unboxing. They're sort of fun. Uh, I got my watch. My watch arrived the other day and uh, it came by uh, FedEx. And by the way, it was, it was uh, previously I talked about some of the problems I had with FedEx coming from overseas. This one came from overseas. It was shipped from Japan. No problem. Came very quickly. Uh, and then a couple of days later, I got it in the mail. I got a, a like an invoice. Uh, and I didn't know anything. <laughs> that was that wasn't uh, FedEx's issue. It was I don't know what it was. But anyway, uh, I, I'll say something nice about FedEx. They did a good job. They got it here. Uh, so anyway, in the unboxing, I opened it up, and nothing unusual about that. And here's the little case was wrapped in a ton of bubble wrap. And here's my new watch. Um, this watch is one that's one of the most unusual watches I have. It's called, it's a Longines Ephemerides. I probably said it wrong. Uh, Solaris uh, 5235. That's the reference number on it. The reason that it's unusual is that it it's one of the few equation of time watches, but it doesn't do equation of time like in a in a nice simple clear way. Uh, but it once you figure it out, it is. Uh, now the movement is uh, twenty eight thirty two an ETA thirty eight uh, twenty eight thirty eight twenty eight thirty two. But I'm not sure because I looked up ETA 2832 and their frequency is 36,000 VPH, which I don't like at all. But then I ran it on my time grapher and it came out as 28,800, 28, which is 4 hertz. Okay. Uh, it has a number of unspecified complications. It has uh, the equation of time is this blue line that runs around the bezel. Uh, I don't know if you can see it here. You can see it better in the picture there. And it's this blue line. And uh, I'll mention that in a, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. Uh, and then it has up here, it has the sunrise at the top and then right below it is sunset. And then down at the bottom, it has some mystery indicator I haven't quite figured out yet. And then at nine o'clock, it has the the month. And then at um, three o'clock, it has the the date. Okay, uh, so what about this? How do you get the equation of time? Well, if you look at this, this is a solar time that was originally worked out by the ancient Greek astronomers. And the shape of it is very similar to, again, it's hard to see, that blue line that goes around the different months here uh, on this. Each, there's a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but, uh, and they're, they're not in English, I think it's in French, the, the, the 12 months of the year. And this one is sort of a, it, this one goes in the opposite direction there. They start uh, at uh, January over about uh, one o'clock or two o'clock and then go up to February and sort of around. Uh, this one goes in the opposite direction. But you can see this line uh, and this is the essentially the equation of timeline because what it is, it compares the mean time that's on your watch with the time that, uh, that solar time. Now, the blue line is the solar time, and then you have, this is October, and you have a what I'll call a zero line, and the zero line is when the blue line and the black line or the zero line are together, they're the same. In other words, you're going to find the same time on a uh, sundial as you will on your watch. And then if it's below the line, then the sun is going to show a lower time, and if they're above the line, they're going to show a higher time. For example, in October, the blue line is right up near the top, and so you're going to have 15 minutes ahead of that. One of the things that I discovered in this is that we're on daylight saving times. 
the watch isn't. And uh, so, I mean, that's one thing you have to take in consideration and in, in figuring it out. Now, one thing that is sort of fun to do is looking at the time of the sunrise and the sunset. It took me a while to figure out parts of this. Um, you see the 1, 15, and 30 on both sides and on both the sunrise and the sunset. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, I think they're latitudes, but we're at 42 latitude, and that's like a little further north, and obviously in 30, I would imagine that uh, 1 would be the equator, 15 would be 15 degrees north of that, and so forth, or possibly 15 degrees south. It could go either way. And then the time underneath the sunrise, you have 4.6.8, and they represent uh, 0600, there's uh, 6 a.m., 4 a.m., and 8 a.m. And then at, uh, in the sunset, you have the 1800 that's labeled, that would be 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. And then it starts over at 1600, dot, 1800, dot, uh, or 8 o'clock, and then another dot. So that will tell you the sunrise and the sunset. Now, the way it's angled, uh, the, depending on where you are, 1, 15, or 30, I, I think that's it. There was no documentation. I've never had a watch with this many complications with actually no documentation at all. And if you have any insights on what those numbers may be other than the time, I'm pretty sure about the times on it, but the uh, those, the 115 and 30, I'm not exactly sure what they're for. Now, the, there's another indicator on it at the bottom, right above six o'clock. And, uh, it's, <laughs> it's got a, some line that keeps changing over time. And again, I don't know what it's for. I have no idea. There's no documentation on it. Uh, but it's sort of fun. Now, one, another interesting thing, at the bottom, they have a bezel lock. And so what I can do with this is that I can, like, what I've done is I set October, it's October right now, uh, up at the top, and then I can lock it here so that it, it, uh, it won't slip. And then November and so forth, I can just go around. And then it, the blue line will tell me what the equation of time is relative to that month. So, uh, this is my watch. One of the things about this, uh, this was for their 100th anniversary, from Long Jean's 100th anniversary. They have this incredibly nice enamel dial, uh, including enamel numbers and everything else on it. Uh, you can see it here in the, uh, around the uh, sunrise and sunset. And I mean, it's really a beautiful little watch. Uh, anyway, Got any ideas what all of these indicators are that I haven't figured out yet? Let me know. I'd be very interested in hearing from you. And uh, if you have one like this or thinking of getting one, by the way, too, I got this because of all of the equation of time uh, watches, this was the most affordable. So that was why I got it. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's an opportunity to subscribe if you like. And until next time, this is Bill Sander for Watch Art Side, the Art and Science of Watts Collection.